is a follow-up to a panel I did last year, which was controversial because as last year, well, let's review what happened two years ago that I talked about last time. So, Bill 156 was a revision to the 1964 Tokyo Metropolitan Ordinance regarding the healthy development of youths, which was an old, old, old censorship ordinance, and this was an expansion of it, which was brought up in February 2010 by Governor Ishikara in Tokyo, who was rejected in June after a lot of protests, but it was rewritten and passed under the radar in December of that year, and the content restrictions were supposed to be self-imposed in April of 2011, and they were going to be government-imposed in July of 2011. And, and the text of the bill, what it contained was, it, it, it would it classify any manga animation or pictures that feature either sexual or pseudosexual acts that would be illegal in real life, or sexual or pseudosexual acts between close relatives whose marriage would be illegal, or such depictions and or presentations that justify, would be glorify, or exaggerate the material, basically anything anything of that sort would be censored, or that was anime or, or manga or illustrated, but not uh, photography or live action films or novels, so, so it was a double standard, and that's sort of merit, they are protected under the First Amendment, but since it was un unbinding, it was unsure how much this would mean, so there was a lot of controversy over trying to figure out how much would be censored and what would be censored, and basically in the previous panel I did last year, there was a lot of what-if scenarios, a lot of wondering how bad things would get, and and, and obviously I looked at the some of the worst case scenarios that would be possible, or oh, 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 how the text of the bill it could even end up censoring something like My Neighbor Totoro, which obviously did not happen, and a lot of people were like, oh, it's not going to be that bad, and other people were going to be like, oh, it is going to be that bad. So now we know, how bad was it? Well, so far we know that Six series got censored. Six manga series, no anime series, no video games, to me all just these six manga series. And these were, were announced as being censored like right when the bill was going into effect, and there hasn't been really any announcements of stuff being banned or censored since. And it's interesting what they picked, because these are not the things you'd pick if you, they were, if you would think they were really serious about banning everything. In, in, in Midori no Kisetsu was a a manga anthology, they may have ended for some sort of sexual content, but it has been out of print since 2009. So why would you try to censor something in, in which nobody can buy anyway? So why is that their top priority? And then there's, there's Hanami Zara Kyutaru Jinshu Hanahiri, which is another short story anthology, and that and, and, and probably would have been in, 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 in in rated 18 plus under the old, old, old laws, but the cover alone pretty much looks like it, 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 it would have been, but it was mislabeled. Well, there were stories in it which had been published in other anthologies which were rated 18 plus. They were hentai anthologies, but this was as mislabeled as not 18 plus. So this was, was just correcting a label which probably should have been corrected anyway. So it's not anything new. It's not expanding the power by censoring that. Kobito, Eiko, oh, and Lovers and Sharing. I do not know much about this series. He, he's, he's like, I think Lovers and Sharing might still be going hanging on, but it's now how, how rated 18 plus. I know that Kobito, Eiko was a, yeah, it was a rape revenge story, and Lovers and Sharing was about how they, a, a polygamous relationship. I don't necessarily know much more details beyond that, so I don't know if there's, here is any any serious value to these works, works that they overlook or how graphic they are, so I don't know oh, 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 whether they should be censored or not. I don't have an opinion on that, but uh, but I know they were censored. And then there's here, here's Aki Sora, which was, was the one that got the most press because this was still an ongoing thing at the time. I mean, it was still popular. Her was a manga about an in, incestuous in relationship, but it's interesting that the publisher freaked and canceled the series before 
the government even started considering what stuff they were going to actually censor. So basically, the publisher made it easy for them by kind of basically censoring it before the government did. So the fact that they chose this, it was just sort of an easy target. And anyway, and then there's here's my life as an elementary school student, which sort of shows one of the failings of this law in that obviously he, from the title you can tell that it's probably kind of creepy. I, from what I did, there's actually no graphic content or sex of any sort in the manga, but uh, but still creepy. He, 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 he don't don't necessarily think creepy needs to be censored, but but still creepy. And and if they wanted. It, and the, the, the creepy stuff, like, it would have been smarter for them to ignore it if they wanted to fight it, because now that, now that it's on their censored list, it's gotten a lot of press, and now Ken Akamatsu, the writer of Love, Hina, and Nekima, is now publishing the manga on his website, so... Oh, oh, it's actually gotten more attention since being censored, and if anything, can, can you just want to drive attention away from this, so it sort of shows a failure of censorship in general, where when you ban something, people are going to be curious about it and look at it, even they probably wouldn't have even cared before. And that's it for now, with one possible exception. The exception being in an anime show called Go Kyujo, where the first and third episodes were pulled from TV for for mysterious reasons, they said that the content was too, too, too stupid to air on TV. He, in disclaimers that aired in the time slot that they were supposed to be showing those episodes, and they were streamed online, and it wasn't in, in the stream that was that was blocked, and and apparently the content of those two episodes were actually no. Oh, oh, worse than any of the millions of, of bad fan service anime that still air on TV, so oh, I almost wonder if they were just doing the thing where a lot of American in movie studios will, he'll, he'll, will cut out a few bad words from a movie and, and they release it in theaters, and then they release the uncut deep two off for theaters edition on DVD, and it's just the same movie with a couple of bad words. How do these rules affect satellite broadcasts, and or are those, like here, not they, regulated? It, 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 this was only in Tokyo, in the Tokyo Prefecture, so... Basically, I... So basically, it would regulate, it perhaps, blocking satellite broadcasts from Japan, but uh, from, from, from Tokyo, but but it wouldn't affect all of Japan. However, since Tokyo is a lot of the population, then and it, 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 yeah, then it, then there was concern about that. It only affects the publishers that are within that Tokyo prefecture as well, and want to sell their content there. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, and, and that's. So a satellite uh, broadcaster time, broadcast in Tokyo would have to censor only the feeds going to Tokyo and not the rest of the country, if that's what yeah. they chose? Yeah. Okay. yeah and it's like the governor of New the state of New York saying, you can't broadcast this in New York City. Sure, the state of New York is bigger than New York City, but New York City is the part you actually care about. But at the same time, this hasn't really... <clears throat> Keep it even enforced for anything other than those six series I mentioned previously, and possibly he this one other thing. Though I think that was just a stunt <coughs> on their half, or maybe it was the network request. I don't think it had to do with the law, because if it was having to do with the law, then the law is being really inconsistent in what they're choosing to censor and what they're choosing not to censor. Uh, wasn't there an episode of uh, Gintama that was censored because it made fun of a politician? Recently? I didn't hear about that. That, it, that like, would be what interesting. If your law is supposed to protect satirical content, that would really be in violation of itself. Yeah. 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 They did, they that was actually in the manga, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's actually a plot relevant thing that they're sort 
of centering. Uh, so, so, uh, so they made up a plot uh, so, line of censoring themselves rather than actually uh, being censored. I was doing the research, I didn't hear anything about that, but I guess that is one case of censorship happening in England. It's also a case of a creative protest, and and I'll talk about some more creative protests later on. And like, and like, did anyone really notice any changes? Is in what was being shown content wise between the spring in 2011 and the summer 2011 season? Because that was when the government things were supposed to go into effect. And I didn't really. And I just noticed a lot of shows seem to tone down their uh, ad service. Yeah, and I think that a lot of that is is a lot of people being trying to be extra cautious. But at the same time, uh, and this season, in, in the new Loop on the Fear Earth series, Watch It, Animation's going to be simulcasting it. I saw the first episode, and it's awesome. And there's also a lot of uncensored boobies. Like, Kuchiko is the main character, and she spends half the episode in various states of undress. And the, the, opening, the opening credits alone have one very... Obvious silhouette, naked boob shots. Like, oh, better not to censor that because that's not going to fly here. What wasn't uh, Roku view of uh, the basketball series in the summer? In, in, was that a summer series? I think it was. And that was uh, obviously a Lollicon fan service series. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and also looking at summer shows, because uh, uh, I wonder if Mararu Penguin Drum was made as essentially. He, 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 a big, big F you to this bill, at least partially, because the, the clearest thing of the bill was that it, it was censoring themes of incest, and it wasn't censoring things based on how graphic they were, it was censoring things, things on ideological basis. That, that was what the writer of Server said. It wasn't due to the graphic content of the manga uh, that her work was censored, it was due to the uh, 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 ideological objections. And Maru Penguin Drum. Um, that show had quite a bit of incest, and and that didn't get censored. Or, 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 or now, and, and the one thing, and the thing that I was particularly worried about last year was that because Governor Ishihara is notoriously homophobic, and in his in several interviews where he was defending the law, he said that we need to stop all this on TV, all these gay characters are on TV in prime time, and so I was wondering if that meant that it was essentially a don't ask, don't tell policy for anime, and and, and so far not necessarily, but I do wonder her exactly if people are taking paying any extra cautions when dealing with gay characters, hers like Hank. I, I, the show I'm thinking of in particular is Persona 4, because the game of that was praised heavily as being extremely progressive in, in its portrayal of the gay character, and the Persona 4 anime was criticized as being rather homophobic. So I wonder if it, 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 so I wonder if the gay panic jokes and stuff in the Persona 4 anime were almost sort of a defense. And, 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 and to be like, oh, we're not actually supporting this character. Or, or I wonder what's up with that. I think it might have something to do with the um, current political trend that um, there's a motion in the Japanese parliament, whatever their government system is, um, to recognize gay marriages that are um, gone through in countries. So if you were to come from Japan to Massachusetts, for example, since we've legalized gay marriage here, and then you go back to Japan, your marriage would be recognized by Japan to try to push that legislation through. And you're seeing a lot of homophobic backlash in the censorship and in media in response to that. At the same time, it's hard to really attribute that to Ishihara and the censorship like that. Kind of getting into speculation because I mean, with several notable exceptions, 
anime's been always kind of a, a, a cub. They've had gay characters, but always kind of skittish around them. They're either the comic relief or they're the bad guy, and you know, or, or, and, yeah, and then there's the boys love stuff, which is generally kind of unrealistic. And it's interesting that in in the boys love series, which was running in, in Japan after or the bill was passed, 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 Sekaichi had. So yeah, I think it's called the world's first true love. Uh, uh, of the character in that, he clearly states he's not gay, he's not bi, he's just in love with this one man. So I wonder if it's trying to keep the relationship, but trying to depoliticize it to avoid the political controversies. There, there was also two series uh, from this this past season. Um, one of them was uh, Moritz Pirates, and I forget the name of the other one, but. Uh, the director explicitly said that he'd taken out all the romance elements because there were some um, homosexual romance elements in the series. Uh, that was, that was, he, he, the director of those uh, announced it on Twitter. Uh, 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 I didn't hear that, so it seems that like, yeah, okay, so I guess it's, so I guess it's happening more than I thought it was, but it's not happening much, but it's happening very quietly, and, and I guess it's not necessarily he government enforcing and more or, or studios not being sure what the government will allow and that's why you're able to get at, at, at some shows which and some manga was just violated entirely. I mean how is how is two two review darkness still running in Japan if they are seriously enforcing this law, but at the same time I mean it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's basically created a climate of uncertainty and fear, but some people are certainly brave enough to publish stuff and it, the government's not actually censoring it, so it's almost sort of just a threat and a threat that had effects, but, but it was nothing more than a very powerful threat. And that said, it still sucks, because even if it's just a threat for now, it could still be used in the future, like it's obviously a much more extreme case, but I'm thinking of the bill that was passed recently by President Obama allowing the U.S. to indefinitely detain citizens in in and he says he's not enforcing it, and just from what I've heard, he hasn't been enforcing it, it's just the fact that that law is on the records, it allows politicians in the future to enforce it, and that could be pretty scary, so it's a terrible law and we should take it off the books as soon as possible, even though it's not being enforced. And it can also be used as a legal precedent in other censorship cases by having it on the books, even if it's not enforced. But, or, or, so like, uh, like, if manga's under threat in other countries, like say, Canada, which we'll actually be talking about Canada later in this panel, well, someone who's arguing for censorship easily will be, look, at, look at this law and see, and, and say, look, they're against this continent in Japan. And it's in the it's in their law book, so what, why should we be for it here? Even though the censorship isn't really happening in Japan, the fact that they have a censorship law in the books could be used as an argument for censorship in other countries. And there have been several other threats and censorship attempts in Japan since then, and so it seems like it's been a constant thing. And so September, the Liberal Democratic Party got 200. It in 22 signatures in a petition that was written by Ekpat, which is, it, 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 it is, a, is a non-profit which is ending child prostitution in, 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 in pornography, and I'm not sure what the T stands for, I forget that. It was to have child pornography law laws that apply to live action and, and, and works for obvious reasons apply to anime, manga, and games. Understandable, well, well, well that's very, I don't think any of us want child pornography, but, but depends on how they're defining it, because in their letter, they use the, the figure of 88.8 billion yen as the size of the child pornography market in Japan. That is not true. That is, however, the same number as the estimated size of the Moe market in Japan. So essentially, they're trying to ban child pornography, but they think that Haruhi and Lucky Star are child pornography. So. So, yeah, and then 
in October, Ishikawa proposed censorship of all media uh, to, to censor sexism. And at the very least, there's some fairness in this because it's applying to all media as opposed to just illustrated media, which was what was weird about Bill 56 and why the double standard and that was weird. So there's no double standard here, but at the same time, how do you quantify sexism? And especially, do you want a guy who said this quantifying sexism? Women living after losing their ability to give birth is a waste and a crime. So yeah, do you really want that guy deciding what's sexist and what's not? And and then in January, one of these things does not drive with the other. I don't know which one. And, and then in January, a, it was the second meeting of the committee that's in charge of enforcing Bill 156. And in among their complaints, in some recent manga, it said, "In these books, there is some violence and cruelty, and most have sexually provocative material." In particular, many include scenes of women making the lead ahead of men. I think they'll promote the prejudice view that women want this. And if you keep getting these descriptions of women taking the lead, matters soon develop in a homosexual direction, and it must become difficult to develop sexually in a normal fashion, mustn't it? <laughs> so, so, yes. Airing her own issues as so, yes, strong women make men gay, apparently. And we're trying to fight sexism, so but also we don't want to be strong women. So so at this point it's clear that they don't even know what they want to censor. They're just saying they're gonna censor stuff because has, has otaku are a useful scapegoat, especially with the low birth rate in Japan. And, and, and not a lot of otaku are having kids, so so they're an easy scapegoat, both for that reason and and, and, and there's lots of threats, and there's so many threats, we're not even sure what's actually real and what's a threat, and that's caused confusion in, in, among, in a lot of people who are making anime and manga. And at the same time as this, just this past March, Ishihara says he aims to expand the Tokyo Big Site Convention Center, which is the home of Kami Pet which is the main place you sell Dokinshi, which is also probably the main place you find material in flagrant violation in, of censorship laws. So, he still wants the money that's coming out of, of anime and manga fandom, but he also wants to use it as a scapegoat. He wants to have it both ways. Was there any talk of extending the law to essentially the Dokinshi market? Like, I just want to hear something about that one point. Yeah. A lot of the folks were really well, scared. Yeah, yeah, they, said the law was going to shut down. they said the law was going to apply to Dojinshi, but at the same <laughs> but if they're keeping Comic Cat, unless they're going to be heavily. That'd be a very small Comic Cat. Yeah, unless they're heavily censoring Comic Cat, then. I, I, I don't know. Or, 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 or they could essentially label everything as hentai, a, 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 which would well, it'd still be, 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 a, be, be part of the law. Uh, like if they had, like it could be, Comic Cat as 18 plus only, but basically, yeah. But if they were following the law, then essentially, the <coughs> R-rated material, which would straddle the line, but would still be clearly R-rated, not X-rated, would would end up being X-rated and 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 censored. Or, or, but if, but I don't know if they're going to be censoring Comic Cat or not. But it's interesting that they're. Trying to promote it, 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 it could be that what they're doing is it, in the build contract to expand the, the Tokyo Big Site Convention Center, they're, they're planning on putting in facilities to arrange for that. Hmm. What are they going to do? Have hall just full of people reading stuff and saying yay or nay? I don't know. It, it, it could be they're, they're going to put a few police boxes in or something. So we have some happy news, and this is happy news from America. From America. Uh, 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 so last June, we remember the case of Brown versus the ECA, where the United States Supreme Court declared video games are protected under the First Amendment, and and, and, and that's certainly some pretty good news because basically the governor of California wanted to to 
Yes? The book is Schwarzenegger. It, 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 it wasn't Schwarzenegger. It, 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 it was the one, this guy who came after him, Brown, Governor Brown, and and and, and, and wanted to pass a law which would essentially create a government board which would review video games, games for violent content, and then and then and then essentially censor certain certain games based on their violent content, and the Supreme Court fig figured that figured, figured that one, it's unfair if you're applying this to video games and not to all other forms of expression, and two, that had the video game and ratings board has already done a much better job self-regulating than and than the film rating system um, or other rating systems for other media. Uh, and three, there's not really any precedent in America of, 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 of banning stuff for violence. There is precedent of, 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 of trying to censor obscene material, which is really obscene due to sexual content, but there's no precedent for, for doing the same thing for violence. So, and, and that third one, obviously, it does raise some questions, like, uh, you know, you know, like what's with our puritanical value system? Why uh, is violence okay and not, uh, and, and, and not sexual content? I mean, I mean, even if this is California law passed, it probably wouldn't end up censoring very many video games because they were still going to use an adapted version of the Miller standard. Only they would count. And violent content as potential obscenity as opposed to sexual content, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Most most video games, most violent video games, would pass the Miller standard. I mean, Grand Theft Auto oh, is a giant satire, or it obviously passes the Miller standard. And I mean, even something that's that seemingly mindless violence like Mad World, there's probably enough. Uh, 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 artistic creativity in there, here, 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 and enough elements and some satire, or, 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 or that, that that would pass the Miller standard as well. So it probably wouldn't really censor much. Uh, uh, it's still a terrible law because it's only applying that uh, to whatever obscene video game there may be, as opposed to say the Human Centipede or something. But yeah, it's interesting that. Uh, that, 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 that violence is okay, a super horneo brothers, as John Stewart put it, isn't. And, 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 and then just as, as a month ago, oh, oh, the R versus Matheson case in Canada was dropped. So basically in Canada there was a case where her, her, an American who was flying into Canada uh, 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 visit a friend and go to an anime convention with him. him he was basically stopped in the airport, or, 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 he, or he, had his, he had his laptop taken from him and searched, and they found, 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 a, found, found a gift which was a chibi karma sutra, and they, a, a, a threatened, a, a, and they tried to arrest, and, and they arrested him on child pornography charges. It, 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 his and. They realized this case was ridiculous. That he, that, that, that he was just some um, 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 some college kid who had a stock who had a stylized non-graphic joke gif on on his computer. He was uh, uh, he was going to show his friend in Canada uh, 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 just for who who'd at the convention and and the charges were dropped and 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 on his defense he had. Had the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, which you should definitely look into because they're a a, a really good organization. They, they were started in the 80s, and since then they've been defending First Amendment rights of uh, of comic book writers and publishers and sellers and fans, and and they do some really good work. They actually did a panel on on manga censorship at New York Comic Con that I went to. to who, who that was really good, and they hey, hey, run a blog which will keep you updated on 
in censorship cases in Japan and in America. So it's clbdf.com. No, 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 it's, you know, it's cbldf.org. Yeah, cbldf.org, and then they're quite cool. And as I said, a lot of people are going, row, row, fight the power over this law. Uh, uh, the Tokyo Anime Fair, which Ishihara is the head of, was boycotted by fans and publishers this year. They were going to do it last year, but it got canceled due to the, the tsunami. And, 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 and attendance this year was down 40% from two years ago, so I figured that boycott worked. And then the Anime Contents Expo is a, a, a competing King, King Anime Fair here, which was kind of open last year, but then again, the tsunami delayed that, so it opened this year, and it got a pretty sizable crowd, and Katakawa, which is one of the big manga publishers, they published Shonen Jump and other stuff, they clearly stated that one, they're ignoring this law, uh, and and they're just going to publish it whenever, whenever they want to. If they get in trouble, they can fight it out in court. And then... I'm assuming that Ace uh, meeting was in a different city? In a, in a, in a, I forget what the location. I think it was in a different city, but I'm not sure. And and then Robochi, the writer of Madoka, he kicks ass. Because ass, uh, yeah, yeah, Madoka, uh, due to being awesome, it won the... Uh, the best new series award at the Tokyo Anime Fair, so he went up and accepted his award, and his acceptance speech was basically he, he a giant protest of the censorship bill saying, can you thank you for this award, or if you want me he, he to be able to keep making more anime and manga, and, and for more people to make more anime and manga, you need to get rid of this Bill 156 that's just scaring people, and you need to get rid of it. It's pointless. It's not, not, not going to do anything in good. It's probably going to do a lot of bad, depending on how it's used. And, and, and he's awesome. And uh, awesome. And Katakawa was awesome. Suki so was awesome. Uh, um, they, say, they say they're ignoring the law as well. And usually their stuff wouldn't be censored. But apparently it, it wouldn't be censored anyway because their stuff's pretty tame. But, but, but actually, the movie this summer, or, or last summer, from Up on Poppy Hill. Hill, 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 there is, it, it, there is actually, Ethan and I hear, hear an incest subplot in it. Apparently, it turned out to not be related anyway. But still, the fact that they're dealing with that content, and and and, and, and certainly says that they're not going to be particularly scared by this bill. Speaking of incest subplots, what was up with the end of Bunny Drop, like? And I, 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 I know they pulled the holding not related thing, but still, he'll, he'll, I, I don't can't think of any possible good excuse for, or, for, 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 for the main character to end up marrying his adopted child slash, uh, uh, his adopted no, child who thought it was an end, and, and yeah, spoiler alert, her, 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 yeah, the only excuse I can think of for that was that perhaps, he was just trying to make a statement about the bill because the last volume was published when the bill censorship laws were taking into effect and it hasn't been banned. Or, or the Monica is just creepy. Or the Monica is creepy, which is kind of sad because the first rest of the series was amazing. So, okay, so that's it for my, my slides. So if anyone has any questions or comments for the next 20 minutes.